And now I've been uh, asked to offer some final thoughts uh, in five minutes and then the presentation of the flag ceremony. And I have to say, uh, as a pastor, I have spent countless hours with people in times of loss and tragedy, including this loss, these tragedies. And people always ask me, what's next? How can I go on? How do I find meaning and hope? And I always try to answer. And to be honest, I always leave those conversations feeling inadequate about what I said. And I have no doubt that this occasion won't be any different. We're at a gathering of many faiths today, people from different perspectives. But as a Christian minister, of course, I know my own faith's resources the best. So let me just share with you what I believe from a tradition in which both Butch and Beth had roots. The man the Bible says was the wisest man who ever lived, King Solomon, wrote something very strange at first hearing. It's in the book of Ecclesiastes. He said, it is better to go to a house of grieving, a funeral, than a house of feasting, because death is the destiny of everyone, and the living should take this to heart. He's just saying, as you heard somebody say earlier, take stock. He's saying to all of us, don't miss this chance. He's saying, Times like this, moments like this are so difficult, but so important, so meaningful, so potentially life-changing and enhancing, because we take to heart here how brief, how precious life is. The lives of these loved ones and our own lives. Life is so fragile. So how do we deal with that? Well, Solomon goes on to write, so enjoy your life. He says, enjoy your life with your wife. Enjoy your work. Enjoy your food and drink. That's in the Bible. In other words, seize the day because our days are limited. Uh, think of how grateful Alexis was for those days spent with Beth. Think of the ways that Butch relished life. And the best way to honor our fallen comrades is to walk out of this building today determined, determined to live. Walk out enjoying the sun on your face and the breeze on your skin. Walk out of here holding a hand. And then when you get home tonight, Take time to call up a loved one, perhaps even to repair a broken relationship. Because we're reminded again today, life for all of us is so precious and so short. And those of us from Santa Cruz, let's seize this chance to really do something positive for our community. Let's not throw up our hands and say, see, what a mess. No, let's reach out our hands and say, let's work on this together. I saw the throngs of people all along the motorcade route, as I mentioned earlier, and I thought, this moment could be a hinge of history for Santa Cruz, because I believe that the love and compassion that we're all sensing has reached a, a real critical mass, where we could all really say, from this point forward, we're going to hand in hand work to better our community and make it even more into a place where that precious gift of life is truly relished with joy and with peace. But when I deal with my own grief, I don't just need hope to live this life. Speaking personally, I need hope for what comes after life. I was mentioning to Peter how I lost my own father uh, as a child, in fact, my sister and I were almost exactly the same ages as Elizabeth and Peter's uh, children. And then later I lost my stepfather as well. 
and I found that I needed this hope for what comes next to survive. So where, where do we find that? Well, for Christians all over the world, from every denomination, that hope is found in something we celebrate at the end of this month, and that's Easter. Easter weekend starts at the cross, and on Good Friday at the cross, for Christians, that shows that God understands grief. In fact, on the cross, we see that God knows what it's like to lose a loved one in an unjust attack. But the story doesn't end on the cross. It ends with a resurrection, with an emptied grave. Good Friday turns into Easter Sunday. And what difference does that make for those of us in this room? Well, on that note, let me quote Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who said, there's a question that men ask in times like this. Is the universe really on the side of the forces of good? Because sometimes it looks awfully dark. And sometimes people come to feel that the universe is on the other side, that the universe seems to say amen to the forces of injustice. And oh, it looked dark centuries ago. But thank God, the crucifixion was not the last act. Dr. King went on, Easter affirms that what stops us does not stop God, that death is not the end, that life is not doomed to futility and frustration, but can end in fulfillment in the life and resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know, like Dr. King talked about, sometimes I doubt. I get disturbed. Why do the forces of evil seem to triumph? But I have to remind myself when I'm thinking that way, I'm stopping at Friday. Because the resurrection means one day seeing our loved ones, seeing Butch and Beth restored, returned, reunited. Now, I suspect that many of us, uh, even raised in Christian churches, are saying, yeah, well, I wish I could believe that. Well, to that I say, why not go with that wish to even want that kind of resurrection, to love the idea of that kind of restoration, even though you're unsure of it, is strengthening. Because it's the hope that one day something so amazing will come to pass that, as the final book of the Bible says, he will wipe away every tear and death shall be no more and there shall be no more grieving, no more crying, no more pain. That's the day I long for. The day that God breaks the bow, shatters the spear, and makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. And that's what gives me hope for this life and the life to come. Amen. And now the Santa Cruz Police Department will prepare and present the flags to the families. Sam 105, Santa Cruz. No response. Sam 105, Santa Cruz. No response. Sam 105, Sergeant Lauren Butch Baker ended his watch on Tuesday, February 26, 2013. One seven two, Santa Cruz. No response. One seven two, Santa Cruz. No response. One seven two, Detective Elizabeth Butler ended her watch on Tuesday, February twenty sixth, twenty thirteen. Though you are gone, your service to your community and the sacrifices you made will never be forgotten. 
May your courage and valor live on in the hearts of those who came to honor you today. Santa Cruz Claire, KMA 233.